You're probably familiar with famous American M1 Abrams, German Leopard, and British Challenger main battle tanks. It is no wonder because these MBTs are among the best and deadliest tanks in the world. According to the news report, these tanks will be sent to Ukraine as part of a major support for the Ukrainian soldiers. Kiev has been pleading for months for Western tanks to provide its forces with the firepower and mobility needed to break through Russian defensive lines and regain territory. The Challenger 2, Leopard 2, and M1 Abrams MBTs have raised concerns in Moscow, with Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov warning that such shipments may become legitimate targets. The decision to dispatch these offensive platforms was initially under consideration, signaling a reluctance to offend Russia and perhaps push the war far beyond Ukraine's borders. However, as reported by Wednesday citing the U.S. officials, the U.S. will be sending 31 its N1 Abrams tanks to Ukraine, overturning their long-held apprehension about giving offensive armored vehicles to Kyiv and unleashing their powerful MBTs in Ukraine's operations. Along with this, Germany also announced that it will send at least 14 its own Leopard 2s and allows other NATO countries such as Poland, Finland and Denmark to send Leopards from their own stockpile. It is important to note that Britain was the first NATO member to announce that it will supply 14 Challenger 2 tanks to Ukraine. On the other hand, French President Emmanuel Macron stated that he has requested his defense minister to think about deploying some of France's Leclerc combat tanks to Ukraine. Now let's take a look how the West tanks compare to Russia's and what this means for Ukraine's war effort. M1 A2 Abrams. The U.S. intends to supply Ukraine with its M1 A2 Abrams tank to aid in their military operations. The M1 A2 Abrams appears to have excellent protection due to its composite armor from Chopham to withstand all known anti tank weapons. This armor is composed of steel and depleted uranium armor mesh. Another outstanding defensive technology known as Active Protection System is also equipped on this Abrams tank, helping to destroy the incoming anti-tank rockets as well as anti-tank guided missiles and increasing overall tank survivability. In addition, the Abrams tank is also fitted with Countermeasure System, which blocks infrared and laser guidance of anti-tank missiles. Weighing in at 71 tons and first produced in 1990, it has a maximum range of 265 miles and can reach speeds of up to 42 miles per hour. It has caterpillar tracks that make it well-suited for cross-country movement. However, it is considered less practical than tanks like Germany's Leopard 2 and the UK's Challenger 2 due to its high fuel consumption and maintenance requirements. This is because the American Abrams are powered by a gas turbine engine developing 1,500 horsepower. Its jet engine unit, however, has more advantages over traditional diesel engine, which is typically used on tanks. It is a multi-fuel engine, which can run on kerosene, diesel, petrol, or aviation fuel. The engine has servicing intervals significantly longer than those of diesel engines. It can start at extremely cold temperatures and is remarkably quiet. Due to these capabilities, the Abrams is even nicknamed the Whispering Death. The Abrams tank, which costs $10 million, has a 120mm smoothbore gun that can shoot successfully up to 1.5 miles and is handled by one of the four crew members. It also has two 762mm machine guns and one 127mm machine gun as second armament. The M102 Abrams was one of the first tanks with a hunter-killer engagement capability. The tank commander uses a panoramic sight to search for targets. Once the target is selected, the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. According to one source, the tanks will be purchased under the impending Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative package, which would provide finance for the long-term purchase of weaponry and equipment from commercial suppliers. Leopard 2 the 55-ton Leopard 2 tank from Germany is a versatile combat vehicle that blends firepower, protection, speed, and maneuverability. Cross Maffey Wegman, its manufacturer, claims it is the world's top combat tank, featuring a 120mm smooth bore gun and a fully digital fire control system. The tank, which has a crew of four and a range of 342 miles, can achieve speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. 
The $11 billion tank has four primary variants, the first of which was launched in 1979. The Leopard 2 tank operates differently from the M1 Abrams, as it is powered by diesel fuel instead of jet fuel. It is considered easier to use, leading to shorter training times. Rheinmetall, a German military firm that produces the Leopard 2's 120mm smoothbore gun, asserts that it is the most commonly deployed tank in the world, with 3,500 units sold to 19 nations. Over 2,000 of these tanks have been delivered to countries in Europe and Canada. Due to its high number of units and simplicity deployment, the Leopard 2 tank is viewed as the best option for Ukraine. According to the International Institute for Strategic Studies, basic skill in operating and sustaining the tank would take three to six weeks of training. The director of the Panzer Museum in Munster, Germany, Ralf Raths, believes that experienced Ukrainian tank crews will be able to swiftly learn how to utilize the Leopard 2, and that training will be focused on the fundamental skills. Johan Michael, a research analyst at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, suggests that Western exports of the Leopard 2 might potentially give Ukraine with high-caliber munitions to replace its dwindling Soviet-era supplies, providing a new path for Western weaponry to reach Ukraine. Challenger 2 The UK has announced plans to send 14 of its Challenger 2 tanks to Ukraine in the near future and provide training for Ukrainian troops on their use. The 5 million pounds Challenger 2 is a battle tank specifically designed to destroy other tanks. It is equipped with a 120 mm rifled L30 tank gun that can fire both penetrator and high explosive squash head ammunition. Additionally, it has a 7.62mm coaxial chain gun and a 7.62mm pintle-mounted machine gun for secondary armament. The tank has optical and thermal imaging sights for both, the commander and gunner, as well as a 360-degree panoramic sight for the commander. The sighting systems, turret and gun are fully stabilized, allowing for quick target engagement while stationary or in motion. According to the British Army, the Challenger 2 is the UK's only mobile tank, with the capability to provide protected precision direct fire and anti-tank maneuvering, guaranteed to operate 24 hours a day, in all weather conditions. An older version of the Challenger 2 holds the record for the longest distance tank kill in history, having destroyed an Iraqi tank from three miles away during the Gulf War. The 27 feet long tank has a crew of four and can travel 340 miles on roads and 160 miles off-road. The Challenger 2 has a top speed of 37 miles per hour, slightly slower than Germany's Leopard 2 tank. British military leaders consider the 75-ton Challenger 2 to be a modern superior tank with better protection, reliability, and speed compared to Russia's Soviet-era tanks. The Ukrainian president thanked the UK for supplying the much-needed battle tanks, which is diesel-powered and has been in service with the British Army since 1994. It has been used in a number of locations, including Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo and Iraq. President Zelensky stated that the UK's support is strong, impenetrable and ready to face challenges, and in a conversation with the Prime Minister, he expressed gratitude for the decisions that would not only strengthen Ukraine on the battlefield, but would also send the right signal to other partners. So how do the Abrams, Leopard and Challenger stack up against Russian tanks? The M1 Abrams and Challenger 2 tanks proved excellent performance against Iraq's T-72s during the Gulf War, partly due to their longer-range guns. The T-72s in Ukraine, however, have been upgraded and saw a shooting ranges comparable to the M1 Abrams and Challenger 2. Technically, some models of Russia's latest tank, the T-90, are superior to NATO counterparts, but the battle has shown that technology is not as significant as how the tanks are utilized. Despite having a superior gun and anti-tank missile system, Russia has lost at least 43 T-90s in Ukraine, including 10 of the latest T-90Ms. Therefore, the training Ukrainian forces receive in using tanks in conjunction with air defense, intelligence, and infantry will be more critical than the specifications of the tanks themselves. Challenger, on the other hand, is only used by the UK among NATO members. According to the Defense Ministry, it has four regiments that each operate 56 Challenger 2 tanks.
while Ukraine has appreciated all offers, maintaining 14 challengers with specialized ammunition, specific spare parts, and separately trained crews on the battlefield may also pose challenges. So do you think Ukraine getting all the tanks mentioned above will benefit the country against Russia? Leave your comment below and let us know what you think. That's all for today and see you next time.